The lightning fast Ukrainian invasion of Russia's Kursk region has exceeded all expectations. But as The Economist writes, the question is whether Ukraine can turn short term gains into long term strategic advantage. Russia's failure to mount a swift counterattack has puzzled some Ukrainian officers. Rather than moving troops from Donbass to Kursk, the Kremlin may be planning an asymmetrical response, such as a rocket attack on the government quarter of Kiev, writes The Economist, adding that Putin is not yet under much pressure from domestic public opinion. Russians are aware of the invasion, but the media are downplaying the danger and news of the chaos has not reached most citizens. Yet, according to The Economist, progress has been so rapid and the Russians so slow to respond that Ukraine may be reconsidering its goals. The initial goals were to boost the morale of its own people and give new confidence to Ukraine's Western backers that it deserved more military support. Ukraine also wanted the Kremlin to divert troops from the front lines, especially in the Donetsk region, the newspaper writes. At the same time, retired Australian General Mick Ryan believes that if Russia starts moving more capable troops into the area, the Ukrainians will have three options. The first, maximalist approach, is to try to hold on to the captured territory or even push further to draw more Russian troops out of Ukraine and gain leverage in future negotiations. But this is risky, Ryan notes, since Ukraine will have a hard time maintaining electronic warfare and air defense against even well-entrenched troops over such a wide area. The second option is to retreat to the border, preserving troops and equipment to try to retake Ukrainian territory next year. Ukraine would show that it can wage war on Russia and undermine the narrative of an inevitable Russian victory. A third option would be a partial withdrawal to a more defensible position near the Ukrainian border, which would require fewer troops and better artillery and logistical support. This would also serve as a base for further attacks when opportunities arise. As a source for the economist in the Ukrainian general staff notes, this is the most likely option. Part of the material and technical resources, engineering troops, fuel, field hospitals, food and repair bases have already been transferred several kilometers deep into the Russian border. The successful offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation has raised morale not only in Ukraine but also in the post-Soviet space which has lived under Moscow's yoke for centuries. Residents of Kazakhstan are celebrating the achievements of Ukrainian soldiers. This was reported in his blog by the well-known Kazakh activist Adilzan Abdugaliev. The footage is available on the Telegram channel Ukraine365. The activists expressed confidence that the Ukrainian march is the beginning of the collapse of the Russian Federation. We didn't sleep all night. We celebrated. Almaty is on our ears. People are calling from all the cities of Kazakhstan, congratulating us. The Kazakhs are celebrating the successes of the armed forces of Ukraine no less than the new year. The armed forces of Ukraine are the gods of war. We, Kazakhs, have always supported you. We also have those who support the Russian world, Putin. No one is visible at all. Everyone is hiding somewhere in their holes. The armed forces of Ukraine are the gods of war. All the Kazakhs are happy. I also drank three mugs of beer. I drank for the first destroyed Russian column in the Kamaz trucks. For the second with these loaves for the airfields in Lipetsk. This is only the beginning. Russians, get on your knees. Beg for mercy, for forgiveness. Wash your kokoshniks. Bake some loaves of bread. Make a hole in the center for salt and meet the liberators. This is only the beginning. Georgia is still rising. Chechnya rises. Everyone you killed, they are all happy now. Everyone will help now. Inside your failed country, the armed forces of Ukraine will help. Outside your failed country, everyone is helping Ukraine. Azerbaijanis, Armenians, Georgians, Chechens. Abdugaliev said, Recall, Ukrainian defense forces launched their major offensive in the Kursk region. The Ukrainian armed forces broke through the border in two places and began to advance deep into Russian territory. The operation is still ongoing and the Russian army has been unable to stabilize the situation. According to preliminary data, Ukrainian forces have taken control of about 650 square kilometers. While the advance groups are moving forward, reserves are being brought into the territory to consolidate it. Instead of martial law, the Kremlin has introduced a counter-terrorist operation regime in the territories bordering Ukraine. 